In the last video we uploaded, we did a few burnouts with our 91 Firebird. It had junky old tires, and the driveway was going to get resealed anyway, so the marks wouldn't really matter. It only spins the one wheel, but for a tired old low power 305, it does hold its own. And it occurred to us that the wheels have the same bolt pattern as some of the other vehicles. Specifically, our 88 S10 Blazer that we put a Chevy 350 in. So while we still have those dry rotted old tires, we'll remove them and swap them onto the Blazer. We aren't trying to do any four wheel burnouts just yet, so for now we're just putting two on the back of the truck. Having those small tires on the rear makes it look pretty funny and it's got a little bit of that Carolina squat. But we'll go ahead and torque those on and see what it can do. Those 31 inch tires leaning against the Firebird give me some ideas, but I probably shouldn't do it. Since this truck has issues with rear wheel traction normally, I'm guessing it will do burnouts pretty easily. But before anyone gets their hopes up, remember that this truck also has an open rear end. So in all likelihood we're only going to spin one tire again, but we'll still give it a chance. For this first try, we'll power brake it a little bit and then slowly let off the brake as we apply more throttle. It definitely has no problem smoking that tire. This time we'll just try to launch it. We'll power brake it a little bit and then let off the brake quickly as we apply the throttle. Yeah, that's about what it does when it's normal tires on a hard takeoff. So again, unfortunately I think we're only going to spin that one tire. For this last run, we're just going to use the brakes to try to hold it still and do a few seconds worth of spinning. The transmission is in drive, so around the time it upships, we'll just let it take off. Without a doubt, the Blazer does burnouts more easily than the 91 Firebird. But given that it has less traction and more torque, that really isn't surprising. But as for which vehicle wins more style points doing it, that's for you to decide. So we've thoroughly scarred the driveway and proven that at least two of our vehicles will easily destroy one tire. But is anyone really surprised, and what does spinning one tire really prove? We could get it to spin two tires by cheating a little bit and using some water or WD-40 or cooking oil or whatever, but I think there's a better way. In fact, we have a much better way right here. This is an Auburn Posi Limited Slip Carrier. It might be a little while before we get a chance to actually install this on the Blazer, but it's going to happen. That way, maybe it'll actually do rear-wheel drive donuts without just getting stuck. <laughs> 